Lacework was recently awarded the AWS Container Competency. This designation recognizes Lacework's technical capabilities and proven its success helping companies detect and visualize threats in containerized environments. I'd like to walk you through today some of those features and functions that Lacework provides. Where we're going to start is with vulnerability scanning. Lacework integrates directly into the registries, utilizing common workflows used today in your pipelines to ensure that you can get the vulnerability data where it matters to you and your team. What we're able to provide you is a list of all the containers and what vulnerabilities that they have. If we dive in a little bit to a specific container, what we're gonna see is a list of all the layers within the container, the package name, a current version, and if there's a fixed version for it. Also, we'll list what layer that was introduced and how it was introduced into the container. Additionally, if you'd like to filter just by the most critical vulnerabilities, we make it really easy to do that, as well as, hey, only show me things that I can actually do something about, so only show me the packages that have fixes available for them. At Lacework, we really do believe in integrating into the workflows that you have in place today. So while it's great to have this visual representation of these vulnerabilities, we also make it really easy to pull the same data through our API, as well as using the Lacework CLI interface to integrate within your pipelines. Well, once you have this information, that's really not enough. It's great to know that you're vulnerable, but what are you gonna do about it? If I take a look at this view, I could see, wow, I've got a lot of critical vulnerabilities, and I'm not really knowing, not sure where I should start. At the top here, I see I've got 48 critical vulnerabilities with a ton of fixes that potentially I could do something about. Do I start there or maybe I start a little lower on the list where I've got less critical vulnerabilities? Uh, I'm just not really sure. Well, with Lacework, because we both integrate at the build time as well as the runtime, we're able to give you visibility and help you not just see your vulnerabilities, but prioritize them as well. So on the right here, you're starting to see some additional information where we have the number of containers that we actually see running and deployed within your environment. This can help you understand that, is this just a container that's sitting somewhere and not really doing anything? Or is it actually a container that's deployed and something that I care about that I should probably fix? This is where we start showing you how we go beyond just vulnerability scanning and giving you true vulnerability management without you needing to spend a lot of time doing that data science, connecting the runtime to that build time for your uh, containers. Let's dive a little bit into the actual visibility that we give you. What we're looking at here is the containers dossier, and this is going to give you a lot of high level information about what's deployed in your environment. But what I really want to start with here is what we refer to as the polygraph. This is a visualization of all the actual application communication in your environment. And from this view, what we're really looking at is how your containers are talking with inbound connections as well as the outbound communications from them. It allows you to answer questions really easily, such as, do I have external connections coming into my environment? And if so, where are those coming into? As I can see here now, what I've been able to do is identify exactly which containers are receiving those internal external connections. This also can help me with that prioritization of which containers matter to me and which ones do I actually care about that I should have the most exposure. If we come down here further, what we also see is a full list of active containers within my environment. And now again, tying this back to, do I care about patching this thing? I've got vulnerabilities. What does this mean in context? Right here from this view, I now have a list of just the active things in my environment. So I'm no longer stuck looking at a list of hundreds, if not thousands of containers within a vulnerability report and trying to figure out what matters. Well, it's all here for me directly. And I can go back to that polygraph and I can start searching and understanding the context of these containers within my environment. Now, also, as I mentioned, Lacework does have that competency within containers. So it's not just about seeing the container running, but we really have deep information into the container all the way to the commands that were being run inside of that container. You can see things like ports that are running. Um, this is a lot of data and there can be a lot to deal with. So the other portion that Lacework always focuses on is automation. How can we help you understand what is meant to be happening in your environment? What is normal for your environment? Take all of this mess and turning it into meaningful activities. And this is also where Lacework's machine learning comes in place because we have that deep visibility and understanding of the containers, what they're doing and how they're behaving. If something new gets introduced into the environment that potentially could be a risk, we're gonna automate the process behind alerting you, letting you know that that happened, 
and giving you the appropriate context within the container that allows you to understand what is happening and what you need to do as next steps.